talking. I'm talking. All right, today I'm going to be building a workbench, but first I need to cut some wood. I just received my guitar workbench. This is the place where I'm going to be repairing my guitars from now on. And uh, I'm going to see how long it takes to assemble this. It's Right now it's 6.30, so let's see how it goes. So it looks like I need to get myself an, an Allen wrench. Oh, here, number nine. Is that you can't really put these in place because they just they will just fall through so the instructions say put these in first but you have to hold these otherwise you're just going to drop through the hole so this goes in here let's see and it go in there and then it would also secure that, that board right there let to get those like it looks like they got the instructions backwards or something here's the instructions for the draw are a little bit off. Let's see. I don't think that one's going to be any closer either. I wonder if I loosen this off it's going to, going to help. Well, got it in. So I'm going to assume these holes will be off too. It 
it's not written here but actually you have to unscrew this off the end of the vise. like these rubber pieces on the end, the end need some glue. So I've got a bunch of stuff left here. What is this? Not really sure what these are for. Um, these are, uh, these are press fit Looks like we'd have to uh, tap those in place. Uh, I'm not really sure why I need those actually. Oh, okay. Perhaps you can do that too. I see. All right, so these are like uh, things you can put in the top. These are a little bit tight. Okay. Well, a little bit of sandpaper on those and uh, those should be okay. One, two, three, four. What is this? Um, ah, maybe those go in there. Okay, so they, they give you some accessories too. So these, I guess, are for, uh, you know, you want to put something against that and uh, fasten it to the bench. Maybe you're doing some planing or something like that. Get four of these, four of the, four of the pegs. Those could go in here like that once they're sanded down. And... Not sure why there's some extra nuts and bolts left. It's better to have too many than to have too little. So that's a good thing. Um, something here, some presumably if you want to fasten this against the wall. Uh, like some, oh no, these are like some dowels. I hope I didn't miss something out. That looks like it. Um, not bad. That's it. Less than one hour, I would say 50 minutes. So by the way, one final word just about dimensions. Um, if I measure, I'm going to lose that drawer. If I measure across the top, it measures about 19, 19 and three quarters. If I measure across where the vice is, that is about 21 uh, about 21 and three quarters and across the top about 49 and a half inches so this is it and I do like the bench and there's some good and some bad so the good things are uh, it has a nice uh, nice woodworking vice it's basically a woodworking bench it's not really meant for uh, some you know some metal work or anything like that it's a little bit a little bit lightweight uh, although I think it should do very well for for wood and um, this is great for for guitars because you know you can put these pegs in there which is nice to secure this this is a this is an old um, damaged uh, guitar that I had so so this is kind of nice that you can you can just put these pegs in and also what I found out is you can put the pegs into the the vise also if you wanted to clamp something up like that and there's some some holes over here in the top and uh, the other good thing I like about it is it's got this uh, nice drawer you can put things in and it's got the tray underneath to put lots of uh, lots of stuff in uh, the bad are the instructions but you know we're practical people if we're going to be using this kind of a bench so you kind of have to uh, just figure things out uh, a few of the holes were out of place uh, but nothing that no, no real showstopper 
and um, of course this thing here, the, the ends of the, the vise, I believe uh, some people complain that some of the pictures show, show wooden ends, but these would have to be secured in place. I didn't put any, anything on this yet. Maybe some glue or, or some, even a screw you could put in the end. But, um, you know, it's basically it's a piece of wood, so it's no big deal. So, I think it's a decent enough bench for the price. And uh, this will be this will be very useful. I'm actually going to put this in a different place because right here I've got carpet on the floor, so it's not really an ideal location for this. So that's it from me this week. And as I always say, stay tuned, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. If you need a good bench for a decent price, try one of these. <laughs>